Hey guys, so today we're making some Southwest chicken egg rolls. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So we're going to start by sauteing um, some chicken and onions. And so for this recipe, I did use rotisserie uh, chicken breast. And I just took the skin off and then I added some um, red onions. But if you have yellow onions, you can use that. I did make my own chicken breast, but those chicken breasts didn't last uh, to make this recipe. So I ended up having to buy a rotisserie chicken. And so next I'm going to add in about four cloves of fresh garlic. And I am going to mix all of this together. And then I am going to season this with some onion powder, garlic powder, um, some salt, some pepper, um, some ancho chili powder. And this is going to be so delicious, you guys. I don't care what seasonings you use. Just make sure your food is not bland. Because we don't want no bland food, y'all. Okay? And so you are going to season this to your taste. Make sure you taste as you go. Um, obviously, if you are cooking your own uh, chicken breast, you want to make sure that it's done before you start to taste it. Um, and so next, I am going to add in some frozen corn. And this is maybe about a cup of frozen corn. And... Um, you may have tried the Southwest egg rolls at um, Chili's. This is my version of that. It's not a copycat, but it's my version. And so I'm adding in some black beans. And these black beans are in um, the chili sauce. I, I chose to get the one in the sauce because I wanted the additional flavor. But you can use just regular black beans. Just make sure you drain and rinse them first. And then I'm going to add in a few handfuls of some fresh spinach or you can use frozen spinach. And then that's it, y'all. This is the filling for our egg rolls and we're just going to stuff these bad boys. And you can add cheese directly to your filling, but I chose not to because I didn't know if I was going to make some egg rolls that were dairy free. Um, but it's up to you. And so I am using um, the vegan egg roll wrappers, but you can choose the other ones if you want. We have kids with allergies, so I chose the vegan ones. And so I just put a few tablespoons of the filling in there. You want to make sure that it's cooled off before you start to make the egg rolls. And then I'm just adding in some cheese. And I'm going to wrap these uh, tightly. And um, to seal the edges, I just used some cold water. Um, and then I'm going to fold it really tightly. And you, you do want to be kind of gentle because you don't want the wrapper to rip. Um, and this is what it looks like and so I'm just going to do a few of these and then um, make sure you preheat your oil I'm using vegetable oil preheat your oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're just going to fry these until they're nice and golden brown y'all these were so delicious and this was my first time making egg rolls um, and so they turned out really really well So I made like eight of these and so this is what it looks like before uh, we fry them. And so I'm just going to gently place them in my oil. And I want to say I let them fry on each side for about maybe three minutes. Um, but you, you just want it to get golden brown. And um, that's pretty much it y'all. So I fried them four at a time but it depends on how big your pan is. And this is what it looks like after they are all nice and fried. And I am just going to serve these with um, some sauce. It's some uh, Hidden Valley Ranch sauce that I found at the store. Let me know if y'all have tried this before. Um, but this is the finished product, you guys. I just garnished it with some of that hot and spicy Hidden Valley Ranch uh, secret sauce. And then some green onions. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoy. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.